Good morning. Good morning. And uh, this is a super exciting day. We're about to launch um, part of a big celebration that we've been having at the zoo. The Houston Zoo is 100 years old this year. Actually, on April 30th was our 100th birthday. And we're going to be celebrating all year long, going out to the community and kind of getting people involved in uh, um, learning about what the zoo is all about um, and really trying to reach out and say, you know, we want everyone to be part of the zoo. Houston Zoo has been around 100 years. We are a zoo for all. Uh, we, if you come to the zoo, you'll see Houston represented like a mirror. There are so many people from you know, all around town and visitors from out of town who come every year. And we're so excited this year because um, not just turning 100, but we're, we're changing the zoo. And one of the great things that's going to be coming up pretty soon is a huge new exhibit about the Galapagos Islands who we partner with um, on conservation programs for many years. The Galapagos Islands has iguanas and giant tortoises and sharks and rays and sea lions and all of those will be part of this new exhibit that we're going to be opening up next year. But we have a great opportunity here to get a little preview of that as part of an amazing new series of, uh, of murals that are going to be um, all over Houston. There's going to be six murals that will be unveiled over time over the, uh, through the summer. This is the very first one. Uh, we're going to be in Edo and the Heights, and we're going to uh, end up in July with the last mural at St. Arnold. So that'll be a fun one, too. Um, each one is going to feature a different part of the Houston Zoo. And what we've been doing more and more is our zoo is focusing on different parts of the world and the animals that come from that and the conservation stories that are part of the, uh, that part of the world. And it's super exciting that we're starting out with the Galapagos Islands, which we'll be revealing in just a minute. But the fun thing is this has been such a great collaboration with some of the, the arts community here, and I'm super excited to uh, introduce Gonzo, who is super world famous. We all know Gonzo, um, one of the great folk artists here in, in town. He did some great work for the zoo a few years ago for our gorilla exhibit when we were opening that, but um, he has done this magnificent mural that we'll be unveiling in a minute. But just want to thank you all for coming uh, and thank Gonzo for um, putting together a team who've been doing all these great murals. So Gonzo, take it away. Awesome. Thank you, Lee. I appreciate the opportunity. Uh, thank you all to the Houston Zoo, first of all, for having the vision to incorporate the arts uh, in conjunction with uh, animal husbandry and, and bringing that to the public. Uh, thank you, Kirsten, once again for reaching out and letting us uh, assemble an awesome team, rock star artists here in Houston. Uh, thank you for the Parks and Recs for also having the open mind to, to again, uh, help bring art to the community. Uh, you know, a lot of times uh, kids are running around and, and it's great to have a, a place to swim, a place to play, but when you have a visual aspect that really helps to inspire the imagination, uh, that goes way further than we uh, any of us can, can, can even imagine. Myself being a product of that in my neighborhood, one mural in the entire neighborhood inspired me to be who I am today. So I'm hoping that this mural will help spawn that in all the kids that, that visit the park. Um, we have an amazing group of artists. Uh, we have some that are here today. If you want to come real quick, just say, just. So we have uh, Matthew Jean-Baptiste, who's actually uh, here from uh, Haiti. Uh, he's a resident now in the United States. And we have Usagi Wasabi, who is also uh, here in, in based out of Houston. Um, I, I, I know we have a lot to cover, but I want to give them an opportunity to say a couple words about uh, what they feel about the experience and, and what we can look forward to in their murals. Sorry, sorry to put you on the spot. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for coming out. My name is Matthew Jean Baptiste, like he stated. I'm a visual artist here in town, and uh, I'm about to do my biggest mural um, of my career, and it's 20 feet by 102 feet. And I'm getting ready to get that started uh, in the next couple of weeks. And I want to say thank you to the zoo for putting a big project like that for artists like me and coming all the way from Haiti and being able to be a part of projects like this. It's really going to put me in the forefront to actually see a different side of the world, how we can bring art and different style and different energy together. Thank you. Hello, um, I go by Usagi Watabe, and like he said, I'm based out of Houston. And um, this is actually a pretty large mural for me as well. Um, I think the largest I had done before this was just eight foot by 10 foot. So um, I don't have the exact measurements for the mural I will be doing. 60. Okay, 16 by 60, so <laughs> that's gonna be pretty large. Um, and mine's going to be on the Houston Zoo's Pantanal region, which is uh, a new region that I just got to visit at the zoo. And I just wanted to say thank you to the zoo as well for inviting artists to be part of this. 
and having us see the new exhibits, they are absolutely beautiful. And I really hope that our artwork inspires people to appreciate um, just the beauty of nature and animals. So, thank you. And we also have uh, Jessica Rice uh, and Emily Ding, who are not present today, but they are also the artists that we'll be working with. So we have a really good roster, uh, great diversity, and amazing artwork that's going to be coming to y'all, so stay tuned. And now I'm going to pass the mic to Councilwoman Jackson. Yes, awesome. <laughs> Represents this area. Thank you, Mr. Duffman. And good morning, everyone. It is a blessing to be here. It, it's a beautiful day, though. Even though the sun is not out, the breeze is nice, and we're in Fifth Ward. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We in District B, my district. I'm Council Member Tarsha Jackson, represent this beautiful neighborhood um, of um, Fifth Ward. Thank you, Mr. Lee, with the zoo, Houston Zoo, um, for pulling this together. This is just um, amazing. You know, parks are a big part of my priority. Um, not just my priority, but the mayor's priority, because if we have good functioning parks, we have healthy communities. And so over the past, what, seven months, eight months, I have been working closely with the Parks Department. Let's give our Parks Department a huge hand. We've been touring a lot of the parks throughout the district. I'm just identifying what the needs are and how we're like lifting it up so that we can lift up the communities as a whole. The neighborhood that you're in right now is a historically underserved community. We're struggling with a lot of things, Par again, a lot of things, poverty. You know, we have uh, poor schools, you know, um, um, illegal dumping, jobs, and so, um, Coming together, pulling this park together is going to be like great for the community. It's going to lift up the community. And so I'm really excited about the future, about our partners, continued partnership. And I know you're doing one at the Arnold's um, over, over off of Lyons Avenue, yes. And so that'll be part of that as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you all for being here. This is like, again, great. Great for the community and great for the city of Houston. Thank you. Passing the mic. Good morning, everyone. I'm Deborah Lathan, and it, it is indeed a great day in Parks. Um, so great to be here on behalf of Kenneth Allen, our director of the Houston Parks and Recreation. I want to just welcome you all to this unveiling today. Thank you so much to the Houston Zoo for in, um, uh, this is what I'm looking for for sharing and for sharing this gift for Parks and Recreation. Gonzo, thank you so much for your talent. We are so amazed by everything that you do. And um, it's just such a great idea for us to bring this to the community where our kids can come every day, the ones in the immediate community. And we have our recreation personnel over there that's gonna have some field trip opportunities for kids in other community centers to come and see this beautiful artwork. So thank you for that. Thank you for including us in the 100 year celebration. And we just look forward to being a part of this 100 year celebration and for your conservation for uh, the Houston Zoo and your commitment to wildlife preservation and, and the art world, bringing both of those worlds together. So thank you so much. We're looking forward to it. And uh, just like I say, it's a great day in Houston and a great day in parks. Thank you so much. Oh, and one more thing, um, we will, the part, the pool, as you see, is, uh, will be, is working on it, and hopefully we'll have this, it's going to be redone, it's going to be nice, it's going to be, um, you know, a very, very uh, nice pool for uh, the community to enjoy, and hopefully we'll have that open by next year. So, in the meantime, you can always come to our community center, our programs, our summer enrichment programs, and visit us at our websites for uh, Parks org for um, additional details but we will be also our kids of uh, this summer we have 54 community centers and we will be visiting the zoo awesome. all right thank you so much do we officially unveil now yes, yes? okay Okay, so uh, 
I just want to say a couple things. Uh, one, so this mural, um, as it was mentioned, is uh, inspired by the Galapagos Islands and, and all the wonderful things that are happening there. Um, as a side note, uh, our daughter, when she was younger, volunteered at the zoo during the summer camps, and she actually got an opportunity through the Houston Zoo to actually go to the Galapagos Islands and help with the conservation efforts. So to me, it was, it was um, extra touching and extra meaningful to be able to create something knowing the, the, the path that my daughter and the zoo took and, and the images that she brought back from her trip uh, was really an inspiration point to create the mural. So here we have uh, animals that you'll be able to see at the zoo uh, once the, uh, the, uh, the exhibition's open. So we have uh, the seal, we have the, obviously the, the tortoise, uh, and we have uh, the Sally Crab, right? Uh, Sally Lightfoot. Sally Lightfoot Crab, which is amazing, colorful creature. Uh, and obviously the penguin and the iguana. And what I wanted to do was, uh, you know, mesh my style of, of, you know, urban street art and graffiti uh, with, with the animals because, in, in essence, all this art is this wild beast, in, you know, and I like the juxtaposition of having these wild animals interpreted through art, and I, I challenge everyone to go on this urban safari and find these animals. And if you can't find them on the streets, on the walls, and you go to the zoo and you can find them there. Um, I also like the bright colors, really loud, vivid, and popping, because I think that's the way animals are. When you get to experience them in the wild, when you get to experience them in the habitat that's, that's created for them, you, they really come to life, and I, I wanted this mural to reflect that. Um, also, we have our, our, our animal ambassador. Um, what's the animal's name? Tex. Tex. So if you, if you want an opportunity to see uh, an actual tortoise, we have Tex running around. Um, I think he's going to win the race on this one. So yeah, enjoy the mural. Thank you for coming out. And I, I really appreciate everyone's support. And um, we, we'll, we'll move on to the next one. Okay, Brian, I'm going to have you introduce uh, who we've got here. Sure, this is Jay. Yeah. Can I get a picture? This is Tex. Tex is a Texas tortoise. She is from here. She's from Texas. She's lived at the zoo for about 17 or 18 years now. That's probably about how old she is. She'll be living here for a lot longer. She's actually living upwards of 70 to 80 years. And she is our Texas variety of the big tortoises that you can see whenever you visit the Galapagos section. Now this is her full size, so she won't get any bigger than this. She will. She is very much dwarfed by the Galapagos tortoises that we have at the zoo. Now Tex is a pretty cool lady. She is a digger. Now the Galapagos tortoises and the Alpapa tortoises that live out on the islands, these guys will usually dig a little bit of a mud pit that they like to hang out, out in. Tex will actually dig a hole. She likes to live under the ground. Now, Tex here is part of the gopher tortoise kind of thing. She likes to dig under the ground. A lot of the gopher tortoises like to dig under the ground. They like to dig a long way. So the gopher tortoises that live in Oklahoma and Kansas, they will actually dig about two feet down, and then they'll dig miles and miles of tunnels underneath the ground. And these tunnels are not only just used by tortoises, they're also used by a bunch of other animals as well. Now, Tex here is like the weekend warrior version of that. She's not actually going to be around very much. We've got some playful local wildlife coming over. Just want to make sure that my little pet's going to be safe. Settle them down. What a cute dog. Now, Tex here, uh, like I said, she's not as active as the tortoises in the northern areas. So she's actually going to dig about a two-foot hole in the ground under a nice bush or a cactus, and then that's where she calls it. It's kind of a dead end. Her path, her highway, so to speak, is always under construction. Kind of like 242. Now, Tex here is a vegetarian. You can see she's currently munching on some grass right now. She also munches on, uh, at the zoo, she gets lettuce, she gets other spinach, kale, uh, romaine, some cabbage sometimes. She also gets vegetables. Her favorite fruit, however, is strawberries. She really likes strawberries and watermelons. On nice frozen 
uh, on nice hot days, we actually give her some frozen samples like that. We can give her frozen strawberries, we give her frozen watermelon, and she'll actually take the time to grind it off, and it keeps her cool, and it keeps her entertained or enriched. The grass is very enriching for her. She is a Texas tortoise. So she is one that we would find here in Texas. We're not going to see her where uh, we are now. It's a little too wet for these guys. They're going to be much more either north of the pan and the little west. Brian, keep her to wrap up. Sure. Uh, once again, thank you very much for joining in, for seeing the mural unveiling, and for uh, supporting us in our Galapagos Island project. Tex and us are about to head back to the zoo. Thank you very much for coming, and I hope that by seeing Tex and by seeing the animals that you'll see in the Galapagos, you'll be able to uh, be encouraged to save them in the wild. But, uh, yeah,